Japan is a country that has experienced more than its fair share of natural disasters and in doing so they have become one of the best prepared nation on earth when you compare the amount of disasters that have hit the nation plus the population density and compare it to the fatality rate the modern numbers are actually surprisingly small the ability to innovate invest educate and learn from past mistakes has made japan the most earthquake ready country in the world now you might be thinking what is it about this part of the world that makes it so seismically active well, we will tell you in this video why Japan is so prone to earthquakes and how it is dealing with these frequent occurring earthquakes. But before that, please subscribe to top10.com and do not forget to press the bell icon to get updates on our latest videos. There are actually well documented geological reasons why Japan is so earthquake prone. An earthquake occurs due to the stresses caused by the movements of tectonic plates that comprise the earth. Japan and earthquakes go hand in hand due to the country's position along the Pacific Ring of Fire, where it lies across three tectonic plates including the Pacific Plate, under the Pacific Ocean and the Philippine Sea Plate. You must have heard of the great Tohoku earthquake that originated off the coast of Japan with a magnitude of 9 in 2011. It was the most powerful earthquake ever to have struck the country and the fourth strongest earthquake in the world since record keeping began in 1900. As Japan earthquake information is made available through smartphone apps, the internet and other media devices, whatever makes it easy to reach common people. However, there are many much smaller tremors and quakes occurs daily and even hourly without any destructive effects. In fact, constant seismic activity in Japan is simply part of life for many locals and expatriates alike. So how Japanese society has adapted to these frequent occurring earthquakes? Let's find it out. Given the regularity of earthquakes in Japan, all houses are built to withstand some level of tremor. Houses in Japan are built to comply with rigorous earthquake-proof standards that have been set by law. These laws also apply to other structures like schools and office buildings. It is said that around 87% of the buildings in Tokyo are able to withstand earthquakes. Many structures are built to become a little more flexible if hit by a tremor, and some structures are built on Teflon which allows building to move with the shock, while still other feature inflated rubber or fluid-filled bases which can absorb shock. Tokyo's famous sky tree was built to withstand natural disaster by mimicking the shape of ancient wooden pagodas, which have survived through centuries of earthquakes. Every smartphone in Japan is installed with an earthquake and tsunami emergency alert system. Triggered around the 5 to 10 seconds prior to the impending disasters, it's meant to give user time to quickly seek protection if necessary. The system chants Jishin Deshu until the earthquake stops, which means there is an earthquake. Japan is a train dominated country, and their network of bullet trains are the transport of the future, wheezing across the countryside of an eye watering place. To ensure the safety of all passengers, the trains are equipped with the earthquake sensors that are triggered to freeze every moving train in the country, if necessary. In 2011, when a 9.0 magnitude quake hit Japan, there were 27 moving bullet trains in action. Every single train was triggered by smaller pre-quakes and stopped before the major quake hit, resulting in zero deaths or even injuries. If an earthquake hits the nation, all of Japan's TV channels immediately switch to official earthquake coverage, ensuring that the population is well informed on how to stay safe. The coverage delivers info on the quakes, where to seek protection and whether any tsunamis are approaching, giving citizens time to retreat to higher ground. Just as other schools around the world may hold emergency fire drills, Schools in Japan run regular earthquake drills, some as often as once a month. From a young age, school children are educated on the best way to seek protection and stay safe if any earthquake hits their area. 
The most common method during the drills is for children to get under their desk and hold on to their table legs until the quake is finished. If playing outside, children are taught to go to straight to the center of an open space to avoid getting hit by falling debris. There are also field trips in Japan where local fire department personnel put children in earthquake simulators so they can identify the feelings of a quake from a very young age. Another way Japan helps protect its population against future national disaster is by learning from past events. In 1995, the city of Kobe was struck by the completely devastating Great Hanshin Awaji earthquake, which killed 5,000 people and destroyed tens of thousands of homes. Following the rebuilding of the city, Kobe also constructed the Kobe Earthquake Memorial Museum. Built to remember the people lost during the disaster, it also runs as an education center filled with useful displays and educational facilities on disaster prevention and survival. How each household prepares for an earthquake varies. However, many homes are stocked with earthquake survival kits. Stocked with first aid equipment, bottled water, food rations, gloves, face masks, insulation sheets, survival tools like torches and even radios that broadcast regular updates. You can pick up all the necessary supplies for survival kits from most drug store or lifestyle stores. One of the most impressive feats of engineering is Tokyo's little-known water discharge tunnel, located on the outskirts of the city. Sitting patiently underneath a soccer field and a skate park, this large hidden tunnel collects flood waters caused by natural disasters like cyclones and tsunamis and safely redistributes the water into the Edo River. This means if the area is hit with an earthquake and triggers a tsunami, the city should be spared any major flooding. It took 13 years to build and cost 3 billion US dollar, but you cannot put a price on how many lives it promises to save. We cannot prevent earthquakes, floods, droughts or volcanic eruptions, but we can make sure that both people and communities are better prepared and more resilient towards these natural occurring calamities. Let us know how do you like this video and if you have ever faced an earthquake before. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep watching, keep sharing. Bye-bye.